Hello kitties and welcome back to This Bahamian Gal, your ultimate guide to the Bahamas and DC. I am Rogan. This week I'm giving you 10 things you might not know about the Bahamas. It's not all sun, sand, sea and swimming pigs. There's a lot of rich history behind these 700 islands. So buckle up and get ready to learn. When you think about the Bahamas, you may think of warm sandy beaches, exotic foods, or even the hospitality of the people. But there's a lot more to it than just that. The Bahamas, which lies just 50 miles from Florida's east coast, boasts 700 islands and keys and an incredible history. So let's jump right in. Coming in at number 10, Christopher Columbus. Remember him? In 1492, the Italian explorer first made landfall in what is now known as the Bahamas and paved the way for European exploration. Columbus initially thought he was in the East Indies, but was instead in the West Indies. He landed on what was known by the native Lucayan Indians as Guanahani, which is today known as San Salvador. There's been much debate over which island Columbus actually landed on in the Bahamas, but San Salvador is recognized as the official landing spot. Coming in at number 9, if you've ever been to the Bahamas and wondered why the locals drive on the left, use British spelling, or have a parliamentary system, well, it's because the Bahamas was once a British colony. That's right, in a bid to end the Pirates' Republic and restore order, Great Britain made the Bahamas a crown colony in 1718. But in 1973, the Bahamas gained independence and became a free and sovereign country, ending 325 years of British rule. Coming in at number 8, did you know you could see the Bahamian waters from space? I mean, sure, you can see the ocean from space, but that beautiful aquamarine hue, there's no mistaking that that's the Bahamas' waters. Our water is so breathtakingly beautiful that NASA astronaut Scott Kelly tweeted about it while in space, calling it, quote, the most beautiful place from space. Coming in at number seven, there's no denying the Bahamas' natural beauty. And one of the reasons tourists come here is for the Andros Barrier Reef, the world's third largest barrier reef and the third largest living organism on the planet. The reef measures 190 miles long and ranges in depth from 8 feet to 6,000 feet on the ocean side. It's also home to all types of sea creatures including turtles, reef sharks, stingrays and red snapper to name a few. Number 6. Did you know that one of the deepest blue holes in the world is in the Bahamas? Sure is. With a plunging depth of 663 feet, Dean's Blue Hole in Long Island comes in second only to the Dragon Hole in the South China Sea. This blue hole is a huge tourist attraction site and lures free divers from all over the world. Coming in at number 5, Lenny Kravitz is a funk rock god with the incredible vocals to match. His chart-topping 1998 hit Fly Away actually won him a Grammy, but few people know that that song was inspired by his second home, the Bahamas. Lenny, who is a descendant, told the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism that the country's white sandy beaches and crystal clear waters served as the inspiration for the hit song. Coming in at number four, there are writers and then there's Ernest Hemingway. It's hard to believe that there are still people who didn't know that Hemingway once lived in the Bahamas, but he did. He lived in Bimini from 1935 to 1937. In fact, Bimini was his muse. His 1953 Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Old Man and the Sea, was inspired by his time in Bimini and his legend still lives on today. Coming in at number 3, The Tropic of Cancer. The Tropic of Cancer passes through 17 countries in the world. The Bahamas happens to be one of them. This imaginary line, which divides the earth into two equal halves, has lured people to the Bahamas for years. There's actually a Tropic of Cancer beach in Exuma with some of the most gorgeous white sand beaches you'll find in the country. Coming in at number two, lots of sharks do 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 do. Lots of sharks do 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 do. Yeah, people don't automatically think of sharks when they think of the Bahamas, but we have them and they're protected. There are 40 species of sharks in the country. Scientists say if you want to see a specific shark, you have to go to a specific island. Bimini, for example, is known for hammerheads, while Nassau is known for Caribbean reef sharks. Head to Cat Island if you want to see an oceanic white tip. We also have hammerheads and tiger sharks. Shark attacks are rare, but a woman did die in 2019 after being attacked by three sharks. And coming in at number one, the Bahamas' drug-tainted past. Yeah, guys, it's not all sun, sand, and sea. You see that sunken plane resting there on the sandbank? 
Well, there's a story behind it. For four years, Colombian drug smuggler Carlos Leder used a Bahamian island known as Norman's Key as the base for his drug smuggling operation. He even extended an airstrip on the island for his fleet of aircraft, and many people say it actually revolutionized the drug smuggling game. Leder was the crime partner of none other than Colombian drug kingpin Pablo Escobar. Ever heard of him? Anyway, drug flights would refuel on Norman's Key before taking off for the United States. The Bahamian government famously turned a blind eye to the goings-on on the island until the U.S. government forced them to take action. Many believe this plane was carrying cocaine when it landed shy of the runway. It's now a popular wreck dive site in the Exumas. Well, kitties, I hope you enjoyed this week's video on learning 10 things you may not have known about the Bahamas. It's interesting to say the least. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Rogan. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at This Bahamian Gal and also on Facebook at This Bahamian Gal. And of course, you can follow me on my favorite place on the web, my blog, www.thisbahamiangal.com. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notification bells. I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Leave comments down below. Love you guys. See you next week.